Hi, in this video, we're going to learn about our fonts, how to change a font, as well as how to weld a font together so that you can do one cut and not have each individual letter cut out separately. So what I'm going to do to start is to just hit the text and type in a word that I want to maybe use on a layout or a cart. Um, I'm going to move it down just a bit so that I can play up here in my fonts area and I already know I want to use one of my close to my heart fonts. I'm going to use the you are here font. So I'm just going to click on that and you're going to notice it's immediately going to change my image. Now, actually, now that I'm looking at it, I don't think I want that font. I'm going to do artistry better, but not exactly right for the purpose of what I'm going to do. So let's try this artiste one a little bit better. So we'll go with this one. So as you can see, this font changes everything. I can increase and decrease the size, but I want to get a more connected look. So in order to do that, I need to space my letters more closely together. And right now they're grouped in one big group. So the first thing I need to do is make sure I've clicked on the image of my word, go up here to click ungroup. And now each of my letters you'll notice is separate. Next, what I'm gonna do is start clicking on the letters and slowly moving them closer so that there's some overlap. Now this is not the best font to be doing with. This works really, really well with something that's more of a cursive font. But I want to show you the idea in a nice bold font makes it easier to show that idea on. So you can see I'm moving them across. Now, I would recommend that you not move them up and down too much like I did with the Y earlier, because what that does is it throws it off the access point that the other letters are on. So this one may or may not be back where it needs to be, may not line up as nicely as a result. But you can see now all my letters are touching, but of course they're ungrouped. So if I was to cut this, they're all gonna cut separately. So to group them again, I'm gonna click and drag a box around the word holiday. That will highlight all those letters. I'm gonna come back over here and hit group. Now, I like to test this out to make sure I've done everything correctly by going to the make it and seeing what it does to my word. So as you can see, my word's still coming out in all the little bitty pieces. So I'm gonna go back to my image and there's one other thing I need to do. I'm gonna highlight everything and I'm gonna come down here to the bottom where it says weld and I'm gonna click the weld feature. Now everything is one cut and you can see that reflected up here. So if I go to the make it screen, it all's coming out as one solid cut. So that is how easily you can get those words and attach things within your Cricut design space. I hope you found that helpful. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye.